All right, guys. Um, we got the John Cutter G7500 here, and I've been thinking that she's got an air leak. So I'm gonna show y'all how to find an air leak with brake clean. Yes, I got a mighty back. I got all the necessary tools to plug this off, plug that off, pump this thing up, find the air leak. But a thing, a non-chlorinated brake cleaner, honestly, works just as good and it's faster. So, let me show y'all. Let's get this thing fired up. So, spray it around the muffler because a muffler, believe it or not, can be sucking air. We sprayed the PTO side crank seal. We sprayed the intake gasket at the cylinder around the base. But when we sprayed the gasket between the carburetor and intake block, you see it immediately when you hit that side where it's sucking air, immediately kills us all. This stuff right here, yeah, it can be hard on some stuff, but honestly, it's not terrible. Um, it really, that the stuff vaporizes and it evaporates pretty dang quick. So honestly, it, personally, I don't think it's doing no damage, but take to each their own, take your own risks, but she works. <laughs> carburetor off. I'm going to take the gasket that comes out of it. I'm going to use it as a template. I'm going to lay it out on the gasket material that we use for the intake. We'll cut a new gasket. We'll put this thing back together. And again, when it isn't raining, we'll come back out here and we'll cut and see if we got this thing fixed or not. Hope you guys found this easy. You can spray it around your clutch too, and that'll let you know if you got anything leaking on the PTO side. Flywheel side, you just spray it behind the flywheel. It's a little miracle worker in a can. Hope you guys like this. Dubs, we out.